Setting a new world record is no easy task, especially when that record is attempting to fly further than anyone has ever flown before on a futuristic water-propelled jetpack. But that's exactly what one man set out to do, and we sent ABC's Nick Watt along for the ride. Take one daredevil with a chiseled jaw, a futuristic contraption shoot for a new world record. The longest jetpack flight over open water, 26 long miles from Newport Beach to Catalina Island. We're an hour in. No one has ever tried this before. It's personal flight. It's every person's dream out there. It truly is like being a superhero. You are flying through the air like Superman or Iron Man, and, it's, and you can go underwater too with basically two fire hoses strapped to your back, pushing 1,000 gallons of water a minute, 30 feet up in the air, up to 35 miles per hour. It's called a jet lev, now commercially available to anyone with a lust for a flight and 100 grand. Invented by a genius in Florida who is, unsurprisingly, a 007 fan. He saw James Bond Thunderball and the jetpack, and he was intrigued. The big leap that he took was thinking that you could actually use water pressure rather than hydrogen, nitrogen, these self-contained packs. Dean was a banker, learned to fly just a year ago. They say anyone can do it. And here we go. That's me, under training. The sensation is otherworldly. Imagine you're swimming in the ocean and suddenly you take off. Try not to lean to the sides, totally centered. Now you can fly like me, like a hippopotamus or like a hummingbird. Nice, Ryan. It's hard to look James Bond though. Uh, you feel uh, no, like you are actually flying and you don't feel that you're attached to the ocean. I'm, I'm a bit speechless. That's Johnny, a jet lev instructor in Newport Beach where they rent and teach. Watch and learn. They call that the dolphin. But on open water, different story. Waves can easily interrupt the water supply to that pod on the ocean, which pumps all those gallons up that pipe. You literally can be thrown into a, a backflip and, and you can go into the water. And because the boat unit gets lifted out. Yeah, if you're not anticipating it, if you're not prepared, it can throw you off. Four hours plus and his arms are numb, his butt is aching, his whole body is aching. Why? Oh, why? It's a matter of can it be done. He's flying by himself. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, he's now the world's newest record holder. Dean O'Malley, jet dude, made it. Just. He ran out of gas in the surf. I'm Nick Watt for Nightline on Catalina Island.